On the ECS smart vents, we need to verify that the electrical portion of the smart vent is wired properly and it's configured properly. First step is to verify that the electrical power is in the appropriate connections. Step one, we want to look at our incoming power. Incoming power should be on L1, neutral, and ground. East, the uh, smart vent does operate on 120 volt power. The solenoid that's connected to the smart vent is also a 120 volt power connection. The solenoid is connected to L1C, neutral, and ground. Once we've verified that all of our electrical connections are correct, we want to turn the power on. We also want to verify that the solenoid is operating correctly. Press the vent button and you should hear the solenoid energize. Once we've verified that the solenoid is operating correctly, we then want to verify that the timer in the smart vent is configured properly. To do that, we want to verify that the mode is on E. We want to make sure that the range is on 10 hour. And then we want to verify the settings. The dial is set between 30 and 40 on the dial. Once we've completed that, the smart vent is programmed and configured for operation. As far as setting the pressure regulator on the vent, that is the same process that was just completed with the manual vent. This completes the commissioning of the oxygen removal vent for a single system. Remember, on the manual systems to start the 14-day nitrogen inerting process, open the ball valve. On the smart vents, push the vent to start the 14-day process. If you have multiple sprinkler systems in your project, you need to repeat the process of commissioning the oxygen removal vents for each additional system. If you have any questions, please contact at ecscorrosion.com or call us at 314-432-1377. Thank you.